internet people. Um, I know I've been gone for a while again, as always, long story, but I needed to make this video ASAP because something amazing happened this weekend. And please excuse the bedhead and the PJ, but there's there's a reason. There's a reason. And I'm fortunate enough to have Mondays off to kind of recharge. So this weekend was so special, life changing for me personally, if I have to be like super real with you guys. Um if you're new Hi, welcome. I'm glad you found me. If you're returning, you guys really need to pay attention to this video because it's really big for me. Um, this weekend, there was a first ever age play, BDSM inclusive, but age play centric con in San Diego, California. And I'm fortunate to be close enough to San Diego to drive there, but it was an experience. It was amazing and it went so well that I can't wait. It was, I came back home Sunday and I was already waiting for next year, <laughs> but I was aware of other age play cons like Teddy Con and Capcon, but I I didn't go to those for two reasons. One was that they seemed oh also if I seem tired, the con is why. So, and I think I feel like my voice is a little gone because it was so fun. But um, the other cons I felt like. Well, they were too far away for me and I didn't have the means to get there. And two, um, they seemed very AB-centric to me, even though they've stated on their sites that anyone can go. It just felt a little too adult baby for me and I'm not an adult baby. Um, I am a little and little was super happy with the con, but... This is a middle channel, not a little channel, so I'm not going to get into that. Um, if you're a little and a middle, I really encourage you to make it to this conference because there was, there's plenty of little stuff, there's AB stuff, but while there may not have been like middle vendors, there was a middle panel and I met my first middle friend in person and Ella if you're watching this I could just thank you forever you're amazing <laughs> um so there was a middle panel uh, being middle in a little world and it wasn't just me and her so um, one of the biggest reasons why I went is because oh my god there's gonna be a middle so I can connect my middle can connect with at least one person there and she wasn't the only one at, at the panel um, we talked outside we talked when we met up before the panel but um, there were like, I think four or maybe five other middles there and it was really nice. It was like, because there were so few of us, it was really intimate and we kind of got to express what it was like being a middle when there's so many littles and how it's kind of hard to find, um middle-centered, I guess you could say gear or anything else in the community, but we shared some vanilla stuff that could help with middle space, what brings us into middle space, what we like to do, um, and it was just really nice to feel like 
being accepted in kink and any kind of age play is already really special and it gives you a sense of belonging. But especially if you're only a middle, to have that experience and that, like, when you find an online community, you already get that feeling of being accepted and that you're not alone. But speaking from experience, it is, it takes it to another level when you meet them in person. It's, it's incredible. Um, and she was part of the staff, so we didn't get that much online time. Or online Sorry, because I'm going to, I asked her beforehand if I could um, drop her fet name and she said yes, so I was thinking online. We didn't get that much one-on-one -on -one time because she was a part of the staff and she did an amazing job. She, everyone, everyone did a balls to the wall, amazing, spectacular job. It was really a labor of love and you could tell and you would not imagine this was the first year of this con, to be honest. It was in a small section of the hotel, but it wasn't cramped. It wasn't overly crowded because not that many people went because it's so new. Um, but if you can make it to San Diego, wherever you are, if you can make it to San Diego, if you could buy a plane or train or whatever a year from now, I I can't wait to see you there. I would love for that room to slowly over time get filled up. I really hope that her and I, her and I, me and her, can um, spread enough awareness in our day-to-day -day life, whatever we do. Um, she's really busy. Um, she's, I'm not going to tell her life story but um she uh she's she's great you can contact her um you can tell her please if you uh find her through me please let her know that it was through me because I feel like I'll be participating in like getting recruits um her name is Ella Dawn no spaces, E-L-L-A-D-A-W-N, on FetLife. Um, tell her I sent you, and if you're excited for the con, say you're excited because it's really nice. I can imagine that it's really, really nice to hear as someone who worked so hard for this. Um, and it's always... It gives hope that this can grow and be a really, really big thing. And she has stated multiple times and people like the founder of the con have spoken for her that if you have any questions, she will be happy to answer them. And she's such a cool person. Such a cool person. Um, I'm trying to think. If I'm missing anything, I know I wrote some notes down, but yeah, West Coast Jungle Gym experience. I gave the, did I not give the name of the con yet? It's the full name is West Coast Jungle Gym. If I didn't save that, if I didn't say that, I'm totally scattered brained and I'm so tired, but it was so worth it. Um... On um, yeah, that was, I'm not going to make this video too long. It's just like a video made out of excitement and like while everything is fresh and a little shorter because I wanted to keep it middle focused since that what, since that's what this channel is. And if you're a con goer and you found me and you found this channel somehow, Stop by and say hey in the comments or I always link my Tumblr in the description if um, you found me through YouTube only and not my Tumblr. Um, say hey there. Whatever. I'll be around. I have Tumblr on mobile. I answer back comments on mobile. Thank you for finding me. 
and I think that that is it well I mean I guess I could say um a little comment about what I learned about my middle um it was mostly just fun I honestly I growing is always nice but I care more about connecting with middles than about personal growth as a middle but um I was kind of if you don't if you don't want to hear anything personal then until next time see ya um I was really on the fence and unsure if I had any toppiness in my middle space and let me tell you um, by checking out a dark dungeon well dark age play dungeon or dungeon um, I was kind of curious if I liked to if I was just into and curious about humiliation because I'm starting to see my toppy middle self as like a bully because talking down to someone what seemed really fun but after seeing a panel from a mommy and how she interacted with her little ones and seeing general kinds of play in the dungeon, I realized it's not just limited to humiliation. Um, feeling like a bully, I could see, you know, the kind of, since my age is from 13 to 16, I'm like in high school and high schoolers have bullies in them. In reality that's a sad truth but I could see myself enjoying tormenting littles and it's just it was it was fun so it's not just verbal stuff for me anymore even though I don't know if I'll ever explore it but I'm fine with just knowing it without practicing it um yeah I could I could do all the things I could boss them around I can say mean things I can rough them up a little bit so if you have any I know one middle on tumblr does feel toppy sometimes in her middle space and if you are a middle who isn't sure or had doubts about feeling toppy sometimes you're not alone I thought I was alone but I met her online and I wasn't the only one. You're not the only one. Um, if you have any other questions or comments about that, you can reach out in the comments or might send me an ask on Tumblr. And I don't, this is already almost 15 minutes long. I don't like making long videos, so I'm going to cap it here. Um, West Coast Jungle Gym. You guys were amazing and life-changing for me on so many levels. Returning followers, check them out for sure. Um, there's a group on FetLife. Um, you can... I'm going to try to make a post on mill groups, but if you can beat me to it. Even if you didn't go, you can beat me to it. Spread the word. And if you're new and a congoer, if you're not new and not a congoer, hey, if you were a congoer and you found me, it was a pleasure meeting you and Ella, if you see this, thank you for everything. And say hi to Dammy. Uh, you guys, okay, quick memo. I'm not going to spell everything, but she has been married to her daddy for 14 years and she's been just okay you know what 
I'm gonna stop it here. Contact her. She's amazing. Damn. Mm. I'm gonna cut it here. I'm gonna get emotional. Bye, guys.